Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett and I am a senior technical instructor here at Stormwind Studios. And this is my presentation on the top three things to know about a very useful command known as ipconfig. So if I go over to my machine here, I have PowerShell up, but PowerShell and DOS, you know, there's no DOS anymore, it's all PowerShell, they just emulate some of the commands. And one of these commands is ipconfig. And the nice thing about ipconfig is it'll show you your IP address, your subnet mask, default gateway, pretty handy stuff to know. But that's not really my top three things. My number one thing, of course, is being able to know how to get help. Do a slash question mark, and then it'll go in and it'll tell you all of the different commands that we can use. It also gives you some examples is what we're looking for. So uh, which of these are some of the most important? So number one, we want to know how to get help. But number two, we want to be able to use ipconfig for troubleshooting. So what I like to do is instead of just an ipconfig, I say ipconfig, and then I do a slash all. With ipconfig slash all, I get a lot more information. It'll tell me my host name, my DNS suffix. So when I'm doing a DNS search, I type server5. It'll go, oh yeah, server5.evilhackerempire.com, which, by the way, I own that domain, which is pretty cool. Um, it'll go in and it'll show you, uh, oh, this is a Hyper-V or virtual network adapter, so it's probably a Hyper-V server. Here is the MAC address. It is not a DHCP client, but it does have auto configuration. It shows you the IP address of the mask and uh, DNS server. Now, um, if you have IPv6 enabled, which is on by default ever since Windows Vista in, I think, 2008, Windows Server 2008. Uh, they'll be in here too, but I happen to have them turned off because I'm not managing it. Now, I don't want to have a protocol that I'm not managing rolling around in my particular environment. And then, of course, it gives you the tunnel stuff. So ipconfig slash all is very, very, very useful. Now, there's another command that we can use for troubleshooting, and I really like that. It's ipconfig. So let me do an ipconfig, and then I'm going to say display DNS. And what this does is it goes in, ah, pickles, <laughs> display DNS, I must have typed it wrong. Oh, I did a double backslash, here we go. So let me get my head out of the way so you can see. Display DNS. And what it'll do is it'll show you if we have anything that's in our cache. Now, we have a couple in here that's not in there, I can't find it, I don't know where it is, but uh, that's what's called a negative cache. And that's important, you know, if I do something wrong or I have something misconfigured and I wanna find out what the IP address that I'm resolving to is, we have that right there. So uh, display DNS works hand in hand with um, uh, being able to see what is being resolved. So if I go out and I say ping www.microsoft.com, sort of like this, uh, what's going to happen is, is it'll show me, oh, here's the IP address. But if I go in and I do the display DNS again, you'll see all the things that I have resolved. And these are going to stay in the memory based upon the time to live, the TTL. So these are uh, from Microsoft. I'm looking for Microsoft.com. And it says, oh, this matches over to this CNAME record. So then I look for that CNAME record. It's a can canonical name. And it says, oh, it matches for this one. Then I look for that one. Oh, it matches this one. I look for that one. And then finally, I get an IP address. So this is using delegated delegation, 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 where we have it in all sorts of different places, including places that don't say, you know, Microsoft.com. And that's a, that's a normal thing. Now, let's say that I have a negative name cache or the information's wrong. I went out and fixed it. And then I uh, need to, um, to flush out all this stuff because maybe I have a, a time to live of 30 seconds. So what I can do is I can do an IP config. And then what I will say is I will say flush DNS. And what flush DNS does is it eliminates everything that is in my cache so that, boom, it's all nice and clear. Now, if you have a host file or something like that where it's going to read it, those will always be populated even if you flush them. That's why we want to try to avoid using um, host files. So knowing how to get help, being able to do an IP config slash all, as well as troubleshooting with DNS, this is very, very, very useful. Now, if you want to know uh, some of the other commands and some of the other examples, if you go out to Google and do a search for docs.microsoft.com and then uh, do a search on um, IP config, you can bring up this Microsoft document that goes in and shows you what each of the various parameters happen to be. Display DNS, flush DNS, register DNS. This is with dynamic DNS, so I can register that. Uh, release and renew, this is with uh, DHCP. So very, 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 very useful. But again, the most important thing is, is know how to get help. And this not only refers to um, ipconfig slash you know, question mark, but it also refers to just about anything. Know how to do searches because all this stuff changes all the time 
And one of our primary jobs as IT administrators is to stay up on it, especially you know with things like Azure that changes all the time. And so we want to go in and not be afraid of using docs.microsoft.com if it's a Microsoft environment. Don't just do a normal, just a straight up Google search because who knows where that comes from. I mean, you can if you need to, but uh, I recommend that you go right into docs.microsoft.com because that is the official documentation. Microsoft does a really great job. If you do have any questions, feel free and email me, doug.bassett at stormwindlive.com, two S's, two T's, stormwindlive.com, and uh, hope to see you in class real soon. Have a good one.